Maybe now I can make and put another two hours in on the Robin Down. Or another bar on me five bar gate. Just gotta keep plugging away at it. Let's have a look at that uh, filler. Okay, tonight's jobs. I'm gonna sand this back and then see if uh, it needs lifting up anymore. And the same with our other bit that we put on over here. Sand that back as well. Look for low spots, put a bit more filler on it. And um, tomorrow, I'm hoping to mask it up and get a bit of grey, um, get a bit of grey etch primer just on the wood bit. Um, so yeah, flat those bits of filler back. Do a little bit more rubbing down underneath. Uh, possibly a bit of masking. I've got to mask up the undercarriage and stuff. Make sure I don't overspray that. Uh, I'll sand that down as well. And then I went over this earlier uh, with 240 just to get down to the um, get the shine off it quickly. But of course that's left lots of scoff scratches in it. So uh, tonight I'm going to bin begin going around with um, a bit of 400 wet and dry just to take it down a little bit lower and get these scratches out so that uh, it's a bit more ready for when I start layering it up. I think I probably will put a bit of etch primer on this as well. Um, in an effort to fill those so I can then just take the top off the etch primer make it a real thin coat and then put the red on and then it'll match it a lot more easily with the side uh, if it's got a bit of grey on it that's the plan let's get sanding Look, there's a big yellow thing in the sky. Fantastic. Okay, so last night I put some etch primer along this side. Not sure about the finish. And then I've put a bit of a stopper on a few low spots that uh, popped out for me. That was obvious. So I'm now going to flat. There's a few runs in here because I tried to put it on as thick as I could. So yeah, I'm going to flat that back now. Let it dry out with the halogens on it and then I'll put another coat on this evening try and build it up a bit more. Right, edge primer session two. Flattened back, a few bits uh, stoppered. This time I'm going to come all the way along here. Just going to blow underneath a little bit and try and cover this half of the nose cone with edge primer as well. Just so that I can build up and cover some of these flatten down scratches.
So that's another set of primer applied and another coat flattened back. So I'm just dealing with these slight imper imperfections along here, a bit more stopper in there. Uh, these are all gone now, so they're done. Still not enough in this little bit in this transition, so I've layered it up a bit more and I'm about to flatten that back. And uh, I think I've done as much as I'm going to do with this one. So that's that bit where it pulled in. Uh, bits of stop around here and cut it back to the uh, body filler that I put in as well. So we've reduced um, the amount that's in there. What I am seeing there though is with a couple of layers of primer on there, I had the wood grain poking through, um, but uh, a couple of layers now flatted back seems to be getting rid of the wood grain. You can just see a little bit of it there, uh, but I don't think that's textured as such. Just You can just see where um, the new coat has just filled in the gaps and then the darker bit underneath, a tiny little bit there. Look. But um, I think the two pack builds even higher as well. So those tiny bits I can take out the two pack and flatten that back. It's going to be at least two, maybe three coats of two pack on here. Flattened back between each coat. So we're getting there. Also took all the rough uh, paint off that side pod there. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I ought to respray it. I can't reach it very well. I'm going to enlist the help of my uh, other half, maybe to mask that top bit off for me. And... Uh, do a final bit of rubbing down on that. So that's the plan. I'm going to uncover this and mask it all as well. Let's get going. I've got my top masker in, masking the bits I can't reach. What a fine mask wrapper she is. A bit of grey on it tomorrow. I'm run out of time tonight. Right, we are on the starboard side, so it looks like this painting is a game of two halves, or maybe two halves and an underside, that's probably the way it's going to go. Um, could have just rubbed this side down and uh, primed it, but but the, the ploy on this side, the paint, is nowhere near as bad as it was on the other side, so I haven't got to take that right back, so hopefully this will take a little less time to do. Still the telltale dips in the bodywork where the uh, ribs or the foam ribs go around to support things and where the glass fibre nose joins the plywood side. So I'm going to try and do something with those a little bit just to level those out. And um, those ripples feature further down. So there's another rib and it just takes a... I think there's one there. So it just takes a dive in between those so I'm going to try and bring those up a little bit more flush hopefully so it's going to be a bit more uh, flattened back a bit of wet and dry on those and a bit more wet and dry over all of this just to get some more paint off before I start adding more paint and more weight to it Rubbing down for over a month of evenings. This is a labour of love. So this is night three on the starboard side. We flattened out those dips a bit. They're not looking so bad. Um, flattened off the top of the uh, monocoque there where the wood is. I need some masking done on the back here and there's some masking to do underneath just to protect these areas. Um, and I've got to build this up a bit more. There's a couple of low spots there where my filler didn't really go in enough. And this has still got, I want to run a straight edge across it. 
it's still concave. I'm just trying to get it to flow and then it wouldn't would you believe it bulges back out there so I'm hoping this body filler is going to be flexible enough. It's not a massive thickness. So there we are, we're going to just try and blend this. It's probably a less than a millimetre thick. But um, it's just a case of trying to get it to fade in. So I'll give that an hour and I will try and blend it all in with that. Okay, so that's that side all flatted back. The uh, divots filled. Uh, I've lifted this side up a bit. As you can see, there's still some low bits with the fillings, but I'm going to blast it all in grey tomorrow. Uh, so that's all this side there, the top hoop, after I've cleaned it all back. And then that'll allow me to flat it all back and see where uh, the up and down bits are. Okay, so starboard side, we uh, put primer on there as well. Came in earlier and uh, just picked out a few of the imperfections and I put a bit of stopper in them at the top there as well. So I'm going to flat those off in a bit and then just give the whole thing a bit of a going over just to key in the next coat of primer and then it'll have another layer. plan tonight. Um, wondering who best to do this stripe, whether I should spray all the red on all the way along the side here and then do the white with the stripe over the top or should I spray the white including a, a flash of white along there then mask all of this and then spray the red over the top of the white. Uh, the red doesn't cover very well. I don't know how the white covers because I haven't sprayed any of it yet. So the plan is I'm going to spray some red on here tonight and then uh, it probably won't dry quick enough tonight to be able to come back in and put I'll probably mask a couple of lines up on the um, on the red so it'll probably need to go off for a little bit and then spray a white stripe down here and see how well that white covers. don't really want a pink stripe, but I'm hoping that the white will cover it quite well. Well, it looks like there's been a murder in the workshop. Doesn't cover very well in just two coats. Try to put it on as thick as I could. So I'm probably going to mask this bit tomorrow and see how well my white covers that. See how we go. <laughs> 